Hey there, bug watchers. Welcome back to BuggyBot Plays XCOM The Long War. So, we just got off a really great mission. Um, once again, a thanks and a shout out to my buddy Sorg Circus for uh, joining us for that large UFO craft. And coming right out of it, before we even get off the, uh, the fatigue times, we're going in for Zhang on Friends in Low Places. Excellent. We have already put together a pretty solid team here. I'm uh, I'm confident we can do this without any major without any major losses unless something just goes horribly wrong out of nowhere. We're taking along. I think our big hitters here are uh, we've got Music Woman, Starmy, and Thunderpunt. Thunderpunt and Starmy are our big cover removers. Doom Guy's gonna be our you know nail them down, hold them down guy. And Corporal Lee, who I believe, no, she does not have a uh, sharp, sharp, sharpshooter yet, but uh, she's going to be our, shall we say, cleanup crew. She's going she's gonna to be picking people off pretty consistently for the whole of this mission. Now, let's, uh, let's go say hello to Zhang, one of my favorite characters in all of XCOM. Not that there are many to shall we say, preset uh, unique Enjoy ones, one. but, for you know, Zhang's a pretty cool dude. I, I, you know, I would really like to, to get some We're backstory on him as to what he was doing, you know, for the triad, and, uh, is it triad or triad? I don't know. But either way, I'd love to hear what he was doing for that. The guy, the guy has seen some shit, right? Like, just look at him. You can tell he's seen some shit. Chi Long, he's totally worth this mission. So here we go, guys. Now I still haven't thought up a good nickname for Starmy. I'll have to I'll have to think about that. Oh yeah, here we are. Um, by the way, that there's a building nearby, definitely on fire. That's way too much smoke for incense. We're not. We're just not going to address that, huh? All right, that's fine. That's that's fine. Not so different from killing a man. I've also never understood that. Let's just throw away a gun. We'll be, we'll be fine, right? I couldn't use this at any point throughout the rest of this mission. If you take me with you, it's all yours. And that is incredibly like bartering for immunity. That's our man. And it looks like he's got the package. All right. We'll need to get him back to the extraction point in one piece. His former employers, not to mention the invaders, will be looking for him. I am sure they will be. We have a new objective. Okay. So we've got a pretty good solid setup here. I'm feeling confident. I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure out who, who we're gonna move first. I think the first thing I like to do on this mission is first of all, put uh, a couple of guys back in here and then make a move for this right, this section to the right over here. If we can do that quietly without activating anything, it's a really great way to start the mission because it gives you that high ground and it makes a lot of this much easier to flank. So we're, we're going to go for that. Uh, Zhang, buddy, sure just, just make yourself is, scarce, pal. But he was taking offers from a variety of bidders, regardless of their intentions. Oh, boy. This is the farthest up my... Uh, okay. No activation. We're good. We're good so far. That's affirmative. The story so far is positive. Um... Just squeak forward there. All right. Very good. You know, I have to wonder, who got lucky enough to get buried under the giant lion statues? Because those things, those are badass. Like, that has to be one angry-looking dude put under there. We need a lion to keep him down. I just, you know, that that's that guy, he deserves, it's like, that's like the honorable mention of graveyards. He's not quite famous enough to make it in the books, but holy crap, is the dude awesome. Ah, and our first pod pop. Two Seekers and a Thin Man. Looks like we'll probably get at least one hit out of this. Oh, we got two! Three! Very good, and that Seeker is not undercover. Excellent, this is really good for us. 
I've taken out one Seeker. He's not under cover. We've got a decent chance to just pick him right out of the air. I like our, I like our chances. We also have a decent chance of flat out killing that guy. But it comes with the risk of, if I miss, what do I do, right? Okay. So we're going to move... We're going to move Doom Guy along. And we're going to use him for that 86% flush. Nice and easy. Typical strat. Completely failed. It's already going wrong, guys. XCOM is uh, its making itself known. Lord Hattiest, where do we want you? That's affirmative. Okay, I think we're going to get you up here. Okay. I gotta think about this. I think I take a shot with Zaxos here. Good man, Zaxos. Right on target. And we're gonna have you pull back into some cover. What is you what are your chances of hitting this guy? They're okay. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and take the shot. Oh, yes! Very good. Lucky. Very lucky. And Thunderpunt, you know what? You earned that promotion. I would love to see Thunderpunt be the guy who basically shows up on a mission and gets, uh... Every time he gets a kill, you just see Thunderpunt stamped across the screen in big, bold letters. I just, I feel like that would be incredibly satisfying. We're going to... Does anyone else have a smoke grenade on the team? Yes, here we are. And you do get the doubles for that. Very nice. I like that. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going we're gonna to smoke grenade as much of the team as possible. The question here is, I, can, I can't hit everyone. So I'm thinking, who exactly is more likely to survive? And it looks like Thunderpunt... Thunderpunt's got a little more, little more uh, life, so I'm gonna smoke grenade my buddies over here. And Lee, music woman, you just, you stay awesome, lady. Oh boy. Stay alert, Strike One. You've got hostile forces about to hit your position. There's something about Thunderpunt that his name just inspires in me. That his first name is Hugo. Hugo Thunderpunt. It just seems fitting. I'm not really entirely sure why. There's no no rhyme nor reason to this. Oh, and you have chosen a very unfortunate place. Right, do we have another do we have another Overwatch drop? It doesn't look like it. It's, that's fortunate. Oh yeah. Goodbye. Thanks for playing. <laughs> It has been a pleasure, sir. Let's reload. You know what? I think we're going to have... Yeah, we're just going to have Zaxos reload. You don't have a shot, surprisingly enough. Um, you know, that makes me think, where should I end up putting our friend here? You don't have a shot either. All right, I think we hunker you. We move Bangle, Starmie, I guess, over here to go into Overwatch. And we move, move. Lee up to a slightly better position. Now you may be asking why I'm not sending Thunderpunt to go and take a shot at this guy. I'm, I'm honestly considering it. What I'm afraid of now is that I've already moved so many guys, and I hadn't thought of it earlier, that if I fail, Thunderpunt is in some serious trouble. I think we're going to steady weapon. You just stay down. I think with the smoke out, we take the risk. We, we've had one activation over there. I think we're in a good... Oh. Well, I was hoping we could flank. I guess we cannot. Um, Alright, we'll just set you on Overwatch, Thunderpunt. 
Usually I don't put people on Overwatch when they've only got one shot left, but I just feel like I can't give him the opportunity to move up. And we got somebody stepping around. I don't like that. Okay. Someone's getting acid. All right, that's kind of expected. When you got a back line back there, they, they like to spit acid on your back line. If you've got two people grouped up like that. Now, I don't have view of this guy. Okay. However, if I zip him over here, well, where has our little friend gone? Right, we'll have Thunder Punk load up then. I don't know where he got to. That makes me real nervous. Um, I think we'll move up. We're gonna we're gonna scout it out a little bit. See what see what shows. There we go. A couple of hunkers. A couple of hunky hunkers, as they say. Hmm. What are you fine fellows doing today? Hunkering down? Don't mind if I do. Ho 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 ho. That's a terrible joke, but I enjoyed it. <laughs> I enjoyed the hell out of it. Alright, alright. Good. May they run into death. Two more thin men. Doe for cover. Where's the drop? There's the drop. Alright, that is a problem. I don't want him there. I need to get rid of that. Starmie's gonna take a shot. Excellent. Oh, Starmie! Way to pull it together. Nicely done. Okay. So, first choice, I want to blow that guy away. I just, I don't want him to get a chance to, uh, to uproot my nicely positioned soldiers. And I don't want to spend explosives on him. So, come on, Lee. You've always come together in the clutch. And she continues to do so. What a beautiful woman. Give it up for the Lee. Alright, now. I have some explosives. I could go crazy pretty early and blow this away. Thunderpunt has pretty good aim. I've got a decent chance of nailing it. What are my other options? I can take a shot with Starmie. I can run the Overwatch with... You know what? Actually, what I might try to do... No, because see, if I'm, I'm, I was thinking about moving Star or Juan here up to get a flanking shot, but I'm really afraid of, of popping another pod here. So, I think the best decision is to go ahead and go crazy with the explosives. Hopefully take out both of them in a single shot. One down is not bad. I will take one. Now that I've done that, I think I actually do run the Overwatch. So I'm gonna do just that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run Star. I'm gonna run Hernandez here, and I'm gonna run her to cover. And she didn't spark it. I guess she didn't just just didn't quite move far enough. Okay, that's okay. I think in the meantime, that means that we should take some. Just. We should just be safe here. Open up. First off, let's get let's get the acid out of here. Um I think that what we do now is since that that since that happened, we're going to drop our second smoke grenade. I'm playing this very cautiously because the most dangerous part of this mission is this particular section. Um it is the chances of popping those extra pods when they drop. If we take care of that, I think we're going to have a lot less issues. So we played this part. We played this part very carefully. Excellent. I can sh I can see him now. I'm going to try. I'm going to go for the flush. 
and I missed. That's unfortunate. All right, they're pulling back. Fantastic. They both got only one HP. We're in a good position here. I like this. That's right, you run away, thin man. I don't need your shenanigans here. This is for the manly fighters. Only the toughest and rough and tumble. All right, let's load up. I don't believe you have acid anymore, do you? You don't. Fantastic. Well, let's move you to here. Put you on Overwatch. Move Zaxos to here. Put him on Overwatch. And we're going to steady you. Um, Hernandez, you've got a shotgun. We're going to reload you. Heads up, boys and girls. Intel suggests hostiles are headed right for you. Oh, excellent. Thunder Punt. Take the shot. Yeah, Thunder Punt. Earning that promotion. Okay, that's going to be an annoying one to root out. But I think we're in a good position here. We're going to take the high ground. We're going to move... We're going to move Hernandez up. That way, if he comes up here, which is probably the more dangerous of the options, or more dangerous of the uh, the results, if he decide where he decides to move to, if he comes down through here, we've got plenty of kill way to just tear him apart. Up there, he can be an issue. Now that being said, we're going to move Hattiest here, and we're going to hunker. There we go. Encouraged him to move up. Shot taken. Oh, yeah. I believe that was Thunderpunt. No, that was, uh, that was Axos who nailed that one. All right. Now he's got... We're going to deal five damage if we hit him, but he's got that high cover, and I think that means it's, it's likely that we should use Precision Shot for this. Yeah, there we go. That got him. Yep, there was the uh, 11 damage. Holy hell. Way to go. Music woman. You know, any bullet for your thoughts? Giving him another Orphis to whistle through? He's just on target, buddy. Right, let's move up. I believe that covers all of our major enemies. We're going to have everyone else set up to reload. Fantastic. Now, where do we put you? We're gonna put, we're gonna put Lee back here. Got it. Moving. We'll move Doom Guy to the better cover. Rolling. There we are. Hattiest moving up in the world. Bangle to follow. Yeah. All right. Feeling good about this. This has gone very smoothly for us. Alright, so we've got at least one more pod of, it sounds like Seekers and or... Oh, come on. Yeah! Thin Men. Yep, and there's the pod. There they are. Stepping up. Excellent, excellent, excellent. None of them are in Overwatch. And I believe... Starmie... No, she is not close enough. Okay. So here's the plan. We're going to move... We're going to take a bit of a risk. We're going to move one up. And we're going to toss a flashbang. Let me see. Actually, let me decide on the flashbang after I've decided on my shots from from Hernandez here, or from Music Woman. I think we've got a good chance, so we're gonna we're gonna take a shot here. Hope I nail one. All right, not bad, not bad at all. 
Who else can see? Zaxos. I could move you up. And honestly, I'm pretty tempted to. You only got the 50% chances, yeah. All right. We're gonna move Hattiest up. He has a shot now, good. We're gonna move. We're gonna move Doom Guy to here. I have to be careful because all through here is a pretty easy flank. If things go wrong, you know the flanks. The flanks will happen, and it will not be pretty. Now we need to get Starmy close enough to blow cover. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this. We're gonna move up. We're going to flashbang these two to keep them from from getting anywhere in particular. Can I get any further? No, I'm just at the max distance. All right, we'll flashbang them. Fantastic. Then we will have, can you suppress that third target? You cannot. Then we're just gonna hunker you, I think. Now do I hunker him or do I put him in Overwatch? I think I'll put him in Overwatch because if this thin man decides to make a go to anything, to any significant uh, distance, he's gonna walk into a lot of pain. Is that everybody? I think that's everybody. All right, I like this. I like our chances here. Three overwatches. I think they're a little worried. All right, who are we gonna take a shot at? We have, we have precision shot back up. We're gonna go for that one right there and hope that Music Woman comes through in the clutch. Three, not bad, not bad. I will take it, that's for sure. And you cannot make that shot. All right, we'll hunker down. Do I take a, I think I take a shot. Just kind of one of those, oh, that was a Hail Mary, but it worked out. We'll keep them afraid. We've got them wounded, we've got them down to pretty much nothing. We're in a real good position. Question is, will I run these shots if I move Doom Guy to here? And I think I will. However, why don't I just solve the whole problem, huh? Starby, it's up to you, buddy. Close. Not quite what I was hoping for, but close enough. You tried. I will give you that. And I think I'll put you on Overwatch and hope that they run through all this pain. There it is. Come on, Lance Corporal. Now's your chance. Ugh. We did not make ourselves a hero. That could be bad, but I don't think it's a flank shot. It is not very good. He runs forward, and there's our freaking Overwatch. No! Oh no! Oh no, this could be bad. This could be where it all goes wrong, folks. Thunder Punt, come on, through in the clutch once again. Oh no, oh no, it's all gone wrong. It's all gone wrong. Looks like he's spitting. Okay, okay, we can handle that. We're, we're totally okay with that. We are a-okay with that result. All right. We're gonna save you guys in the reserves just in case for some reason one of these doesn't go well. I'm gonna take a pot shot with Lee. Music woman, just doing her job. Fantastic, okay, then the only thing left here is to step up with Hernandez and shotgun him to death. Goodbye. Thank you for playing, Thin Man. Beautiful. We're gonna take this chance to reload. 
Hunker down. Reload. And looks like we're going to be going to be hunkering these two for a couple of turns. Awesome. Very awesome indeed. Move Zaxos up. We're going to reload Music Woman. Move Shoji. And keep Thunder Punt out there. He is, he's been doing a great job. This is pretty pretty by the book so far. I mean, it feels good. It's uh, it's just nice to have, really. All right, and no waves. Very good. That's a very good sign. And I believe you no longer have any acid. Excellent. All right, we're gonna move our boys up. Lee, we're going to take you actually to where Thunderpunt is. I feel like that gives you a pretty good cone of view and just a lot of nice places to take shots. Doom guy. Yeah, we're going to move you up here. We have lots of guys nice and ready for that just inevitable next drop. Awesome. Yeah, we're 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 perfect. We are we are fucking golden right now. Move you up. Move you up. Cool. Now, hopefully, we get a, our like remaining few alien drops will be right in here, right in right in this nice big kill zone we've got. Roger that. Come get some. Yes, yes. Overwatch, 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 and steady weapon. We'll just Overwatch everyone. There it is. It's something oh, hello. Different from the others. Dropped a chrysalid right behind us. That's kind of mean. I didn't see if they got that chrysalid. I hope they did. We definitely got that guy. Shot him right in the fucking face. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a dead chrysalid. That's what I'm looking for. I'm on it, Commander. All right. Let's get some guys nice and ready for our next fight. Everybody, continue to move up. We are going to get to those cars, and we're going to walk this guy home. Let's get out of this terrible camera angle. That is that is creating a crick in the neck. All righty. I'm really kind of wondering why they chose to name Starmy Bangle. She, uh, no offense, she's not very tiger-like. Not with that aim. And she certainly doesn't look like the accessorizing type. I mean, she's, she's, she's an XCOM. She's kind of, looks like she's kind of wearing some pretty standard gear. How did you earn this nickname, Starmy? I don't, I don't know what you did, but... Is there some meaning behind this I just am unaware of? I, I don't know. We still gotta, we gotta figure out something right that, that's just for you. We'll have to see what we can come up with. So this mission has gotten pretty dull. I mean, that's the unfortunate fact of, of uh, the, what do you call it? The Friends in Low Places mission. There's not a whole lot that challenges you once you're here and you've got the, the ability to make sure that your soldiers, you know, don't miss every single shot. If you're not if you're not running rookies, you've got a pretty decent chance of getting through it without losing anyone, without even really running very many risks.
That's unfortunate. I was hoping that they would drop them within line of sight. But, uh, you know, we, we can handle that. We will, we will be just fine in spite of it. Okay. Now, this is what worries me. Shoji's not in a great place. There's, there's not a whole lot for him to really effectively hide behind. So, I think I just keep him here and I keep him head down. The question is, do I want to spend a, a smoke grenade on him? Because I know I have one left on Lee. No, I don't think it's that crucial. I think we'll be all right. All right, we're gonna keep you steady. We're gonna set everyone else to overwatch. There he is, with four shots. Yeah, he's, he's probably dead. <laughs> Three shots we didn't need, fortunately. Because that was a lot of misses. I was not, I was not married to that little joy there. I did not like how many, how many people just kind of whiff that. Like, there's one guy who's basically just pulling his weight for everyone else. And nobody talks about it. They're just quietly kind of embarrassed. All right. I'm on it, Commander. Up. We're going to keep you on Overwatch. We are going to... We're going to move Lee somewhere a little more hospitable. Because I'm still worried about her getting jumped and flanked. Rolling out. I think we'll be okay there. Now where's that remaining thin man? What was that sound? Yeah, I'm not liking that. Alright, we're okay. We're okay so far. Let's put old Hattius down here. Make sure that our way to the uh, to the car is effectively clear. And it is. That's very good. Then we are going to we're gonna move Zhang up. You're gonna reload. Position confirmed. All right. Yeah. Now, now we just spend some time working on an Overwatch trap. Where, oh, where are you two doing? All right, you're over here. Aye, aye, Commander. Aye, aye, Commander. All right, I think everybody else goes to Overwatch. Jank puts his head down. Opposition is headed towards you. Repeat, hostiles approaching your position. So now we have two thin men. Two thin men. That's not so bad. That's that's perfectly workable. We can we can we can fight that. Position confirmed. There we are. Go ahead and keep Zaxos there for another turn. We'll move Lee to here. Keep her steadied. Shoji is just gonna hunker until we figure out what to do with these remaining these remaining punks that keep uh, keep dropping down into our into our faces here. Uh oh, they've done a good job. He's gotten all the way around. I didn't hear him move last turn. Oh, there he is. Come on, Zaxos. Take him out. There it is. Oh, yeah. That feels good. All right, that, that puts us down to our last thin man. Which I would say makes this a pretty smooth operation so far. Hattius. You know, I'm not going to make Hattius run, run that just because I'm afraid that he'll catch the Overwatch. He, she didn't, so Hattius can now move. Yeah, don't don't put your medics out there, guys. Your medics are too valuable to get shot in the face. 
I've, uh, I've learned that slowly over time. Who showed you back? How close are you to making a run for it? You'll go probably next round. Zaxos, you're, you're in need of being moved. There we go. Awesome. Very good indeed. Okay. You know what, Shoji? Get the hell out of here. Just get out. I've given up everything to keep this device out of the wrong hands. <laughs> I love that we I ran him to from it. that evac zone just to have him come all the way over here the and get on the Sky Ranger. I, I feel like we could have skipped a step or two in this process, Objective that maybe we weren't as efficient as we could have been. What is with this thing, man, who just isn't showing up? Where, where is he hiding? Sax, reload. Where the hell are you even going, guy? There's pretty much nothing up there. The entire squad has, has moved along. You think maybe he just kind of gave up along the way. Now he's just like, you know what? No. I'm going to start a new life right here. I don't I don't want to fight anymore. I'm just I'm going to set up. This looks like great real estate. I'm I'm not doing it. I'm I'm gonna go start a new life out here in, in the graveyard. I saw what happened to those dudes. I'd do that. Let's be honest. I would not be a brave soldier. I would, I would very quickly get to the point where I was like, nope. I just saw three dudes get blasted apart by laser beams. That's as far as I go. I'm done. You guys enjoy Earth. It's 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 yours now. But me personally, I'm fucking out. Alright, I could flank, but that seems like unnecessarily dangerous. I think instead we take our 65 and we just we just kind of, you know, win him through numbers. Yeah, there we go. Nice and easy. Oh, hipster Zhang. I wish I could make this a real skin of you as a soldier. I just want to see you in that. Give you some glasses. Zhang would make the weirdest hipster. <laughs> that tweed coat, the the man bag, dude, it would work. The device and our contact are secure. Get back to HQ for debriefing. Are we just gonna? I'm kind of curious how far this will go. No, we, we seem to be slowing down. I was kind of hoping that there was just a camera buck. We were just going to slowly slide away. Off into the void. All right. I think it's about time that we start working on... If all our missions go as well as this one Oh, did, beautiful. Don't stand a chance. That is, that is beautiful. Lance Corporal is now a Corporal Thunderpunt. Corporal Bishop Hattiest. We have to think on him. Cobra. Cobra. All right. We, we have to take the... Now, I'm looking at this guy. He is... Zaxos is our... Uh... Our crit-based infantry, so we're gonna we're gonna do aggression with him. There is definitely a GI Joe joke that's going to be made for old Cobra. There, I kind of I kind of just can't resist. All right, I'm gonna smoke in mirrors, and then probably take what's this? Probably take paramedic. Or no, I might take smoke grenade over that. It depends. 
Thunder Punt has been promoted. I think we give Thunder Punt Snapshot. That's just, that has a lot of uses. It's really great. It's a valuable skill. 15 Thin Men, 1 Chrysalid Carcass, 15 Weapon Fragments, that's not bad. 3 Meld. I'm not sure where we got the Meld, and I'm not going to ask where we extracted it from. But a Scientist and an Engineer. Who? All right, let's go. Let's go check out Chi Long. Corporal Chi Long. 65 aim, 13 movement, and he's got Lone Wolf. Now, that kind of tempts me to make Chi Long an assault. Let me see what we've got in terms of the barracks here. We could use another assault. We could also use another scout. Apparently, the loss of Totally Human was, uh, well, it was deeply felt. So, but he doesn't have the movement to be a scout. We'll have to, we'll have to find someone better for that. Hugh being looks like uh, a suitable replacement. So what are we going to make Chi Long? I, I'm really kind of feeling that run and gun, that run and gun assault. I think I think that's what we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna make him. What? Did, how much HP? You've got a lot of HP. We could use a tank assault. Never panicking. Flush. We'll, we'll give you specialist, and I think we'll give you. I think we'll give you will to survive. We're gonna see how we do if I if I make this guy as tanky as possible. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Now, plot armor. Plot armor NC. Did they really just name him Thunder Thunder Punt? Is that, is that what happened here? You know what? I know what, I know what we're gonna name him. All right, customize Thunder Pud. First off, we're gonna name first name Thunder. Now I'm really tempted to go the uh, what's the word? The Thundercats. Thunder, Thunder, Thunder Punt. As as tempted as I am, no, we're we're just gonna nickname him. I have a, I have a different idea. We're going to name him Thunder Buddy Punt. Because he too believes that the only thing more powerful than a child's wish are an Apache helicopter and enough rockets. He has the missiles. All he wants is the helicopter out of life. Oh boy, who else do we have in here that needs a name? Um... Bishop. Let's see, Bishop. Lord Hattiest. You know, he's a classy gentleman. He is indeed the classiest of classy. I think we're going to give him the nickname Monocle. Lord Monocle Hattiest. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. I like it. Makes him makes me feel like I'm I'm gentrifying my soldiers. All right, let's go roll. We've got Juan Hernandez, Cobra. I do think we need to name him. Uh, if his name is going to be Cobra, we have to name him Zaxos Cobra Commander. And I just, I just feel like that's, that's how it's got to be. All right. Now, I did have a request from a friend who would like to be inside, who I'd like to be put in the game. He's rather late, but 
I think we can I think we can make use of it if we just get rid of one of the uh, one of the other guys here that that probably isn't going to be anything important. I think we'll get rid of I think we we'll get rid of Tallahassee. And he will become the rookie that joins us on the next one. We're going to call him Red Dragoon. There we go. Now we just have to wait and see if he becomes anything great. So welcome to the party, Red Dragoon, and good luck. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Situation room. Let's see, visit the gray market. Do we have anything that we need to get rid of? I don't think so. Do we have anything in engineering we should be building? We've got a repair bay on the way. We should definitely dig out that, uh, dig out that steam vent. Is there anything we need to be building right now? I don't think so. I think really right now we're just kind of waiting for our laser beams to finish and for our next big step in the, uh, the council report. Really what we need now is tech and that's just a patience game. So we're going to work on the meantime in hopes of getting a few of these, yeah, a few of the, uh, a little more cash and then get ready to to finish up the tech, uh, the tech research from beam weapons into armor. Waterfront, oh boy. Waterfront is an interesting, they're always an interesting map and they can be quite, quite unpleasant at times. I think we're gonna take two snipers for that. Um, we could also do with an infantry. Assault. A Rocketeer. An Engie. Yeah, we could definitely get, we could definitely do with bumping up our, some of our uh, lesser known heroes here. Let's get, let's go, we, we went through the, the trouble of naming him. Let's get Red Dragoon in on this. We'll get him ready for this mission. Now, Dragoon, you're going to need something a little more explosive if you want to, uh, to go out here into this big wide world. So I'm going to give you a frag grenade instead. You can survive this. It's on you, buddy. You will you will be officially inducted into the XCOM project. Boom shalaka. Grenadier. I think we're going to I think we're going to make boom shalaka an appropriately Explosive based grenadier. We're gonna make him into a sapper, so we'll go ahead and we'll get it. We'll bring him along on this mission. Hamster. You're you're pretty much just another rocketeer. You're out here to, to blow things away. So you know the drill, hamster. Go crazy. Now, we still don't have any advanced weapons for our assaults. That's unfortunate. However, I am going to bring out a little bit of armor for him. And the snipers really just need a couple of scopes and they'll be all kind of set. Now, if you're wondering why I decided on the, uh, the snipers here, it's because A, I could always use with better, better spec snipers. I always, I always want more experience on them. I want them to grow. I want them to get better. The follow-up is that most waterfront maps have a lot of wide open kill grounds. The hope is that we don't get put in the uh, the one with the two barges back behind the building. We want to we don't want to approach it from the from the very back of the map. We prefer to start at the front near that little office. Uh, if we start out in the warehouse, these two are going to have a hard time and be very useless. But I I have some I have some faith in these guys. I think they can do it. We're gonna, we're gonna get them right up to par here. We just gotta believe. There we are. All right, I think we're all set. 
Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to leave a like. You can subscribe for more content every Monday through Friday, and I hope I see you in the next one.